Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. I'm JC. Thank you for joining me here today. Today we are in creative mode. Uh, as you can see, I'm just putting up some blocks here. I figured it would probably be best before I start the new series, Minecraft, A Mushroom Paradise. Uh, if I went into creative mode and did a little bit of uh, practice shipbuilding, I've never actually built a ship, uh, like a large scale, large scale ship like this in Minecraft. Usually I've, I've done some boats, but they've been more along the, the size of, uh, let's say, a, a dinghy. <laughs> a little rowboat, maybe, just bigger than the boat that you can actually ride in in-game. Um, yeah, so I'm just, what I'm doing now is I'm just kind of trying to get the basic outline of what I want to do, really. I know that I want to make it kind of wider out here in the back than in the front, because that's obviously, most ships are wider in the back than they are in the front. Uh, all right, so we got, uh, okay, so that's how many we have there. We'll bring it out one more, I think, on each side. Let's count this again just to make sure. Yeah, just one more. And uh, basically what I'm going to end up doing is I'm just going to kind of fill in the sides in kind of a stepping kind of pattern. I'm not going to really round it out too much. Um, like I said, it's going to be more of a stepping pattern, I feel. Uh, yeah, so we're going to see how this is going to work out. Uh, I'm not too confident on my ship building skills. I probably should have looked at a picture before I started this that might have given me a, uh, a better heads up. But I, I think that just freehanding this build, especially since we're in creative mode, is going to be not as difficult as I uh, I thought. So why don't I go ahead and finish up this little stepping process we have going on here. And uh, let's see what we have when I have at least a half done. Alright, we have gotten half of it done. I'm just trying to get some uh, little touches here on the bottom to kind of make it even itself out and look a little bit better but yeah so this right here is half of the ship we you see my stepping pattern going up and I'm kinda of working on the back of the ship right now uh, I guess that's what they would call like uh, the captain's quarters more than likely I, I'm pretty sure that's what they call it that's where the captain keeps all his charts and his treasures and his maps and you know all of that stuff I kinda wanna make it big enough to where I can get uh, basically I would make this into my bedroom area of the ship when I'm playing on uh, my series of Minecraft A Mushroom Paradise so I'm gonna go ahead and fill in the rest of this ship see if I can get it all even squared away um, and then we're going to consider what we're going to do for flooring and how we're going to go ahead and do the flooring. After probably a good 20-30 minutes of trying out different variations and different ways of making floors and everything, I decided that I was just going to go with some dark oak on top of the spruce down here. And even above, as you can see, I went ahead and laid down some slabs for the top deck. Uh, and basically, down here below deck, everything that is... Oh, I messed up there a little bit. Everything that's going to be spruce, like every piece of spruce that you can see is going to be covered with dark oak, either full blocks or slabs. Um, that's going to enclose the inside a little bit. It's going to, you know, take up more space than I would really like. But at the same time, uh, I feel like it's going to give another a, a depth to the build that's going to be really nice. Especially once it's all done, and I get these stupid torches out of my way. I keep breaking my my ship here. Come on, 
I probably <laughs> probably shouldn't have laid down this many torches to begin with. That was uh, that was a mistake on my part. I'm prone to making plenty of mistakes. It's not the first, and it sure definitely won't be the last. All right, let's see if I can remove these ones right here without breaking it. Like, see, I can do it if I go slow. Ah, none. Now let's see if I can do this whole row. Here we go. And we're g Of course. As soon as I was about to say we're good. Oh, man. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and finish this up. And I'm probably going to go ahead and throw some uh, masts up. And we will show you uh, what we have when we come back. That took a lot longer than I would care to admit, but as I go through here and place way too many torches again, you kind of get a sense of uh, what it's looking like and the feel of being below deck of my ship. It's bright, but then again, it's still dark with the dark oak. It kind I, I like it. I really, really like it. And again, I'm placing way too many torches. I'm sure that'll come back to bite me again when I want to come down here and do something else. <laughs> All right, well, just for a little bit more overkill, here we go. Let's throw them down this side. All right, and yeah, as you can see here, I got some trap doors, kind of like, I know they're not cargo bay doors. Uh, I don't know what the name of them would be. Uh, but yeah, I think what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and throw another little just... Uh, aesthetic touch really I guess I could bring it up with blocks but I'm kinda liking the idea of throwing these oak uh, fence posts around I know I'm gonna have to do something a little bit different here with the uh, slabbed incline that I have going on um, but for now in creative mode just for an idea of what I actually want to do We'll go ahead and live with it. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this right around. Knock that out. I keep messing up. Wrap this around the back of the ship. Oh, I see a couple of blocks down here that i got to remove. Yep, there we go. All right. Now, uh, continuing on, we'll wrap these all the way around. And what's going to happen, uh, once I'm done with this, I think I'm going to go ahead and work on the sails. Uh, however, my sail building skill is not necessarily up to par, so that will be done off camera, and I will, once I'm done with that and working out that, uh, I'm going to go ahead and bring you guys back in and show you what I managed to get for the sails. So, stay tuned. And we're back. I finished the sails. I put some other finishing touches on it. I hope you guys like it. Are you ready? Here it goes. Ta-da! Yep. I don't know. I mean, I like it because it's obviously what I went with. I'm sure it could be better. There's a lot of things I'm sure that could have been tweaked here or there. Uh, but overall, I, I like the colors I went with. I went with the white and my favorite color, green. Two shades of green there. Uh, helps it stick out against the dark colors of the ship. Kind of brings a... Uh, oh, well, yeah, this guy kind of sticks out from the ship, too. Hobo Pirate Bob, I like to call him. <laughs> oh, but, yeah, I mean, overall, this is, uh, this is what we got. We got the sails looking like they were caught in the wind. We got this beautiful upper deck area here, all slabbed out with dark oak. Uh, is, are those acacia or jungle? I don't remember, but yeah. In here, this is the captain's quarters. This is where I would hypothetically be living. My bed, uh, maybe even possibly put my enchanting area in here. Um, but yeah, back down through these trap doors, you could also see what the uh, finished product of the cargo bay or below deck looks like, all slabbed out again in dark oak. I'm uh, I'm overall I'm really happy with this build. I yeah, the mass uh those are stripped oak. I forgot to mention that. But yeah, I kind of they're they're supposed to be looking like they caught some wind and they're kind of pushed out, kind of angled towards the center as it would be if the wind had caught it and it was 
shooting across the water. I mean, the, even here on the body and the back, I'd like to work on. I know there's some things down in there, a couple more blocks that could be moved around or possibly even some stairs thrown in or some slabs to kind of make it stand out a little bit better. But overall, I'm, I'd have to say I'm pretty happy. So uh, with that being said, me and Hobo Bob the Pirate here would like to say uh, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for checking out the build today. Um, and yeah, all in all, have a fantastic night, guys. This is JC saying thanks for stopping by.